Pharmacology is the study of uh, mechanisms and actions of drugs. It not only involves the study of existing drugs, but the investigation into the development of new drugs, drug discovery, which is a, a huge area. Students come into King's can carry out a degree in pharmacology, but we also offer a degree in pharmacology and molecular genetics. Pharmacology and molecular genetics complement each other well, and this is a relatively unique degree combination in the, the UK. If the student wishes, they can also carry out an extramural year involved in a, a research placement. In addition, they can also transfer to onto MSI degrees if they so wish. I learned about pharmacology when I was researching different degree options while still doing my A-levels. King's had pharmacology and also what's more interesting, it had pharmacology and molecular genetics, so which I immediately applied for. An ideal student for the pharmacology degree programme is, is somebody who definitely likes biology and has an interest in chemistry and other sciences as well. But it shouldn't just be biology of healthy individuals. It should also be people who are interested in diseases and why a disease actually occurs. From my point of view, one of the most important things is, is the, that you like reading about science and you like doing experiments. So it's, it's that sort of person that it would be ideal for. Academics who are involved in teaching the course come from a, a range of scientific backgrounds and this is a real plus when it comes to students choosing their final year projects which are, are mainly carried out in-house except if they're on a special placement which of course will be externally. In-house they can choose to work with international researchers in a whole range of different areas. My favourite part about the course was the people, both the teaching staff and the students. We were taught by the leading scientists in the world who were passionate about their work and who inspired me to follow in their footsteps. We try to have a very friendly approach to our teaching in the department. We certainly enjoy watching our students develop and a lot of them go on and do PhDs and indeed um, whatever walk of life they decide to go into we find that a lot of them keep in contact with us. The staff on the course are passionate about their work, about good science and they're always ready to help and I mean here everybody involved in teaching, the course organisers, uh, the lecturers, personal tutors and the research project supervisors who are always at hand to give you support and guidance in your work. If you are a pharmacology graduate, then there's a wide range of careers that you can take. There are careers that involve laboratory research and can be carried out in industry, in academia, in research institutes and in hospitals. In addition, students in pharmacology can enter a range of other careers that are open to them in the pharmaceutical area. This may involve marketing, it may involve regulatory affairs, and it may involve clinical trials and clinical research, or, or just learning through computer-based uh, work about possible side effects of drugs and ensuring that they are documented. So there's, there's a range of roles there. My advice to anybody who is thinking of doing this course that this is an excellent choice because there are so many opportunities to get involved in a range of activities and there are certainly resource av resources available to help you in your development as a scientist or any area of your personal or professional development. It opens all the doors for you, so make the most of it.